Our genetic information can be carried in three main ways. This first begins with DNA that encodes the blueprints to make RNA that has the instructions to make proteins, which are then going to function in every cell in our body. Now the Pfizer and BioNTech or Moderna vaccines against coronavirus focus on the second branch of this path pathway, mRNA or messenger RNA. Now this has been used in the past for gene therapy or for cancer treatment, but is now being used for SARS-CoV-2. And the coronavirus has 29 main proteins, but the specific protein that's found on the outer membrane is known as the spike protein, which is really important for it to infect a healthy cell. Now what these companies did is they looked at the entire genetic makeup of SARS-CoV-2 and found the single mRNA that encodes for the instructions to make this spike protein. They isolated out this mRNA that can now be injected into us in the form of a vaccine to make one of these 29 proteins, thus not giving us an actual coronavirus. Now this mRNA is important as it's been structured to have a 3' and a 5' UTR, a coding region, and a place for the ribosome to start and stop. It's then been packaged into a lipid nanoparticle, which is critical for it to fuse with our human cells, thus allowing the vaccine, or mRNA, to now enter into our cells, this recruiting the ribosomes and initiation factors, since this RNA looks just like endogenous RNA that we would make ourselves. It will then use amino acids that we've consumed to build the spike protein. Now that's when our cells begin to say, wait a second, we haven't seen this protein before. So they elicit an immune response to bring in a macrophage to come and destroy this cell that just got the vaccine. But before the macrophage destroys this cell, it's going to remember that this spike protein was different. It was a foreign antigen that it's going to send the information to our lymphatic system, which is composed of B cells that are now going to make antibodies against this antigen, and T cells, which are now going to be on the lookout for this antigen in the future. So, if we are newly infected with coronavirus, the antibodies that we've now produced are going to bind with the antigen present on the outside of the COVID-19 and direct the coronavirus for destruction by macrophages before the coronavirus can infect our cells.